Captain Skeledon, Bushcraft and Survival. Glad you could join me. And today is a really special day. A couple of days ago, I got a comment that uh, a request under one of my videos that uh, requested uh, a quiver, something to hold your arrows or uh, something, a bushcraft quiver or a bushcraft something to hold stuff in. And that sounded like something fun to do, so I'm making a video about it today. So, I got some black cottonwood here. I really wish that I had made a video of the process of taking the bark off. I didn't, and I apologize for that. But, uh, I seen it, and I was like, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and take that while I can. <laughs> Somebody had cut the tree down, and it hadn't been uh, very long since it's been cut down. And so, I decided to just go ahead and take the bark off of it because I figured it'd make a good bushcraft quiver or um, something to carry something in, you know? So, all I did was, since I didn't make a video, I got to tell you, all I did was is I, I cut around the bottom end of it through the bark, the top to square it up, and then sliced all the way up and used my fingers all the way around to get the bark off. Then, the bottom here, the uh, section of tree that was already there, I cut that uh, flat and then came up and cut it, I'd say about an inch and a quarter up, and I sliced it off again so it makes a good bottom. And now, we're to the next step. Um, I went ahead and drilled holes in it. Now, you could use your knife, you know, in a, a, uh, out in the bush or whatever, you could use a knife, but uh, I used the drill to drill the hole. But anyways, I do need to find a stick, though, because I, I've got to uh, kind of waller out those holes a little bit more. And that looks about right, right there. Yeah, that'll work. And I'll have to go through all of these to uh, make the, or open up the holes, because the fiber's on the other side since I use a drill. But uh, just gonna do that real quick and I'll be back. All right, now what I'm wanting to do is I'm wanting to uh, work from the bottom up, wrap it around, and bring it back. So, I'm gonna have to take the bottom out in order to be able to get in there. There's the bottom, set that. Now I wetted it because uh, it likes to curl in on itself as it's drying. So I need it nice and pliable for this project. And then once it's done, then it can do whatever it wants you know, but it needs to be pliable just enough to get this sewed up. So, tighten that back down. Okay, now I wanna leave enough cordage, and that's something that I forgot to mention last video when I was telling you how to make cordage. Um, the ends that stick out, that you're putting in there and then twisting up, they stick out. You can come back and just cut them off with your pocket knife. And then, of course, you can come back with lighter and burn off all the uh, fray, uh, frayed ends, you know, and make it a neater, you know, cordage. I didn't mention that last time, and I apologize, but I'm mentioning it now. Now, you don't want it to stick out too far, but you do want it to stick out enough so that when you come back, you can actually tie to it. So I'm gonna take my other end here, and bring it back through. No, this one. Almost messed up. I need to pay more attention about this.
All right. And you don't want to pull it tight. You want to keep it loose all the way through. try to twist up on you so you got to keep straightening it up as you go I'm going to go ahead and get to one side here and then I'll be back. Okay, we've already gotten all the way to the end here. It's into the last hole on the top of here. Now, like I said, we're going to have to go all the way around and then back down through and come back. I've done every single hole uh, opposite all the way up. So when I come back, I'll be doing every single hole opposite to get back to the final piece to be able to tie it. So, fit it in the last hole here. On the face of it. And again, we do not want to pull it tight we want to keep it loose all the way up until the very end. That way we can get into it and come back. So this wraps it goes into this hole on the side here. And pulls through. But we don't, again, we don't want to go tight. And this is also, see, I got a piece of the bark here. And this will fit down through the, uh, behind the threads on the other side. Because it's wrapping around. So this will go behind all the threads. And when I finally pull it tight, it will enable it to push this forward making it round again so just like that and pulling tight it'll keep it there for the most part all right so again i don't want to make it tight i want to keep it loose that way i can get inside there and go all the way down wrap it around and i'm only going to wrap around once on the top side before going back down into 
uh, this hole on the side. And the reason why is because it's got to keep the same pattern going over each one. So that's wrapped around there. Then it's going to come back through the top hole here, hit these all the way down. I'm going to go ahead and go down through there. And then when I get to the end, then I'll come back. All right, now here's for the tricky part. I got to see in order to be able to get this down in between every single one of those little loops. And that's another reason why that we want to leave it uh, loose all the way down so that we can actually see what we're doing until we're ready to tighten it up. good right where it is that kind of broke apart a little bit it's right here should really be there and that should be there all right so then it's not good it's got to go further got to go behind that all the way up Right in the middle. All right. Now we can actually start pulling it tight. And we're wanting to pull it tight up top first and work our way down. But we want more on this one right here. So we got to follow this one up. So this goes here, 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 all the way up. So this one right here has to pull this direction. can pull tight this direction so I want that up there flush with the edge here as I pull this tight and then I'm just gonna work it down uh, this one is this one Okay, this one should be this one. And you see how it's actually pulling it together all the way down so that it's more shaped instead of folding in. I'm gonna go ahead and work it down and then I'll come back. Now, we got plenty on this side and now it's time to work on this side. So, this one right here tightens up this right here. This one right here tightens up this. So I'm wanting to pull this nice and tight, pull that up, and then pull this down. Now before I tighten it up on the very last part, 
I still have the bottom to put in. But I'm wanting to get the rest of this shaped up before I get to the bottom. up that one. Let me keep that one tight. This one. Yeah. Okay. Now that we've got to the other end, crisscrossed all the way down, holding nice and tight, and we can put on the bottom. Now, it only fits one way. And that's not it. <laughs> Oh. All right. It only fits one way, and you have to get it just right. Because if you don't get it just right, there we go. Then it, it won't pull tight. Because this is the piece that was already there. So... Get that up in there, flush. Use a stick or something to tap it. Flush, and now we're ready to tighten it up. tight this way and then twist it and that locks it in and then you can switch hands to come back so however tight that you uh, tied it up there it's good to go and then with this cordage that we made we can actually just go ahead and tie it off like normal cordage it's flexible and you can do that with it. All right, there we have it. Finished quiver. But anyways, there it is, finished quiver. Add some cordage. You fasten on that right there. And you could tie it onto this right here. And uh, carry it on your back, on your side, whatever. So, and don't worry about the bottom. And the reason why that you don't have to worry about the bottom is because with it pulled tight like that right there, there's still moisture. Like I said, I wetted this so that it was, you know, flexible it will actually glue itself to this not saying that you can't come back and knock it out but I'm I am gonna say that it will stay it will kind of glue itself together and uh, then when it dries we can come back and finish it which is another video so I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that the uh, person that uh, requested this video enjoyed it. And uh, 
If you did, hit the like button. Please subscribe, and uh, thank you very much for the subscribers that are already subscribed. Please leave a comment and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any upcoming videos, and I'll be looking forward to seeing you soon.